Hi, Lisa Curly Malice, your Time Strategy Visionary, and let's talk today about that white space in your calendar. Typically, experts will recommend that you schedule about 50% of your week and then leave about 50% open to handle emerging priorities. And that 50-50 rule, it, it can vary based on who you are, what your obligations are, how your typical day runs. For some of us, there's a lot more emerging priorities. And for others, our weeks run kind of um, by a schedule that's a pretty typical every week. And so the deal is you want to find out what your perfect balance is and then use that as you're scheduling your week. However, what happens when you have white space in the calendar for emerging priorities and no emerging priorities <laughs> emerge? <laughs> and then you're left with that white space. One of my clients re recently told me that that white space paralyzes him because he has so many ideas of what he could put in there that he really can't pick from anything. Or the flip side of that is he sits there and realizes he doesn't have anything planned and he doesn't even know where to look. So either one of those, what I'm going to recommend is that you create a menu of options that you can use to fill empty white space. Possibly you have just this very lengthy to-do list that you can just pull things from um, whenever you have white space. That's great. But if that's not how you work, then what I, what I suggest is go ahead and create a menu. On that menu can be 10, 15 minute tasks and hour long tasks. That can also be tasks that you can do when your brain is pretty much done for the day and also tasks that you can do when you are at your best mentally. Do some long range um, planning tasks, some short term tasks. Um, for my client, um, he juggles a lot of clients and a lot of projects with those clients. And um, so he runs very much on a deadline driven schedule. And so the very first thing in his menu is to look ahead and anticipate what are potential fires he may need to put out in the future and tackle those early before they become a challenge. So for those of you who are Stephen Covey fans, you'll know I'm talking about stuff in quadrant two. So regardless of how you run your typical day, if you can have a menu of options to choose from, Whenever you're, you have open, quote unquote, time, that helps you use that time productively instead of spinning your reels trying to pick something or staring blankly at the computer screen. Lisa Curly Malice, your time strategy visionary, hoping you have a productive, rewarding, and fun day. Please, if you have any questions at all, leave a comment in the section below. Thanks.